tell me how much you love me and how you'll never go back to her again. <laughs> Who? You talking about my wife? You know, darling, listen, that's a whole other thing. That's, no, no, no. 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 You must never go back to mother and let her take me off to that awful place. Do you understand? You must stay here with me forever. So it is her that you love. Well, I've taken care of mother. <sighs> if you won't give me your heart willingly, then I shall take it. And no one else shall ever have it again. From now on, okay, you know when you see Peter Hammond's name on a review, you know, the dude from Maxim who gives a good review to every movie, it's like, hey, this movie's a real complete piece. Hey, look, it's Norbit. You know, who can we get to give this good review? Somebody call up, up Pete Hammond from Maxim, he'll give it a good review because that dude will give one to anybody. From now on, my wife is in charge of all reviews on the DVD cases, I'm telling you. Because I was watching The Boarding House, and I don't know if you've ever seen Boarding House, and please do not watch Boarding House unless you want to see one of the worst movies ever and you're like me and you're a complete masochist and you have to watch every bad B movie ever made, even if it's a shot on video like early 80s thing that you've only seen a trailer for and you've had it on video forever and you didn't even bother watching it, but then you went out and bought the DVD, no Knowing how crappy it was going to be, you know how you know it's crappy? Because here's the trailer. Anytime you're watching a trailer and all they do is keep repeating the name of the movie, Boarding House, and then they show a scene, Boarding House, and then they show another scene, Boarding House, and the scenes just get worse and worse, and then it has a lame line like, where the rent won't kill you, but something else will. And it's like not even the guy who does all the trailer voices, it's some other person that does the trailer voice on this, and it just sucks, but there's some boobs and a chainsaw and a woman with a giant bloody pig mask. Okay, it sucked me in. I admit it, and I watched it, and I loved it. I'm a sicko. I admit it. I sit there and watch it, but I watch it with the wife, right? She came down. She's like, oh, what are you watching? I'm like, oh, it's boring now. She should check this out. Okay, here's what I'm going to have on the DVD thing, right? First, she goes to me. She's like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, it's boarding house. And then she's watched a little bit more, and she goes, wow, this is really painful. There's caption number two on the box, right? And then the keeper, when we get to the end, and she just looks at me, and she goes, why the fuck do you own this? Why else would I own it? Just so I can have that reaction from the person I love the most in the whole world to come down and look at it and go, why the fuck do you own this? That's why I have Boarding House. That's why you should have Boarding House, so you can show it to your spouse. You can show it to your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever person you got living with you. And then you can enjoy this too because it is one of the very worst shot on video, pieces of crap. I'm not even getting into the story because it's just typical guy buys this haunted house, horrible things start happening except it's shot on video. The gore is like... Just the worst, like, you know, hey, let's throw some ketchup on this screen. People disappear. Nobody ever even notices. The worst thing is they have an agent who gets his heart torn out. Everybody know agents have no hearts. That's bull crap right there. Right there is enough to know that this movie is just complete BS. Stupid ending. Stupid trailer. But the rent won't kill you, but something else will. And something will definitely get to you if you watch this damn movie because it's just the worst thing ever. I swear. Watch it and see.